I've always loved hair. It calms me, it excites me. It really is something beautiful. I'm a creative person, it, it, like nine to five does not work for me. So um, yeah, that's why it's really special for me to be a hairstylist. Like I just, hair is my life and getting to do that on, on a daily basis is really beautiful. Welcome folks, come on into the DD Pro Studio. I've always knew I was different. I could never put like really a name on it, but I definitely knew I was not cookie cutter, normal person. I definitely knew there was something different about me. Hi, I'm D. My pronouns are they, them. Okay, little D <laughs> um, uh, was very out there, ambitious, spontaneous, fun, bubbly, but um, very insecure. I was born in the south of Italy. I grew up with my family in a really small town in Germany, in Bavaria. So like growing up, of course, it, it was challenging times simply because my parents disagreed with a lot of things that I wanted to do because they just didn't see it for an Italian man. Like even when I was like five, um, there's a distinctive photo where I have like these corduroy pants on in purple and like this like super colorful shirt. And I'm standing in like a tea kettle like position. Um, uh, and I was super young and my mom kind of like beat me for it because she was like, uh, why are you in this picture like this? But you know, see, uh, I've always got chastised for being feminine. And so when I moved to Berlin, it was such a breath of fresh air for me. When I moved to Berlin to become a hairstylist, like I tried to play in my femininity, but like back then, it was a little tougher because the city wasn't as open as it is now. But then when I came here, and I met all like trans folks, non-binary folks. Um, I was like, oh yeah, that's more me. That's why New York was also like for me, oh, this is where I have to be because my folks are here. I mean, for me, makeup really just um, uh, helps me like be myself a little bit more. I'm very expressive. I'm super creative. And makeup just kind of like helps me to like but the, it's almost like an armor in a way, not necessarily like that I'm trying to be somebody else. I'm just trying to enhance more of who I really am, who I see myself as. I think makeup for that can be extremely like powerful. When I have my beat on, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a barrier in between of my vulnerability to other people, especially to people that I don't know. But then when I came out as non-binary, like that was a whole process within itself too because I was trying to please people. So I would be like, oh yeah, you can use any pronouns you want as long as you're respectful, but nobody ever said they, them, or like her, they would always use he. And for me, I'm not a man, like at all. Just cause like in the words of my sister T.S. Madison, having male parts does not make you man girl. Just gonna go in and like fluff it out a little bit more but you see you can already tell it's kind of like a little rock and rolly you know a little messy it was very important to create a bias free company simply because in the beauty industry it is so exclusionary and especially when it comes to trans and non-binary people we've always been the bottom barrel for that because we don't know what we can expect when cis people do our hair and makeup or even wardrobe. So that's why Deja and I were very specific about being like, you know what, no, we need to have a production company where we can put together an entire team of queer people that can really take care of anybody but specifically trans and non-binary artists. My desire for the next generation of queer youth is to live like you want to to not be apologetic for nothing. Just do you, be you, and shine. Because when you live truly like you are for yourself, you're literally, the um, universe opens the pathway for whatever you want to do. Be you. That's really what, I, that's one of my hashtags. Be who you are, no matter what. My name is D. Tranny Bear, and I am a free spirit archivist. 
And it gets better means to me that even though through all trials and tribulations that you live through, go through, it always is the light at the end of the tunnel. Never forget that bigger and better things always come your way, no matter how dark times might be. It really is crucial to persist through it and keep going. Never let anybody put you down. Live truly to your own potential.